Men with big guns come and shoot them out of office, not because they respect democracy. I watched democracy here. I watched a president and his cabinet that were voted. And I heard from the public media that other presidents, presidents before, came to shoot them out of office. What we witnessed here is democracy, the pain of democracy. It is not easy to be democratic. <laughs> we are going to take a vote, or maybe we shall not take a vote. This meeting is legal, or maybe this meeting is not illegal. I don't have a vote. I am not a German, but I'm a writer in exile, thanks to Penn German. Thanks to Penn German and the work you do. I witnessed toxicity when the debate began. I had different voices. Voices of reason, voices of emotion. Astrid is a feminist. Dennis, you're a chauvinist. <laughs> These are words, this is our tread. You're a journalist, you make films. The older generation versus the younger generation. Those who want to go fast with electronics and those who don't want to go fast with electronics. Those who want tradition and those who want modernity. That is what is happening here. And so tomorrow I will not sit with you because I am tired of the negative energy. I want to listen to poets and essayists and novelists discussing our writing, discussing freedom of expression, and so I will join the writers in exile. But whatever you do, remember they are staff who sit at Darmstadt. There's Karstin Martini, there's Isabel Stadler, there's a whole lot of them. Think about all the other Penn chapters. I come from Penn, Uganda. It is difficult to sit in a room. We don't have the freedom to meet because they will come for us. There'll be soldiers outside because they know people who criticize power are meeting. Think about all the other pen chapters because we are looking at you. We have had enough of the toxicity in public, but maybe it was necessary to shame yourselves before the public media so that the whole world will know what is happening in Penn, Germany and learn from you. We want to learn good things. Teach us democracy if you want to teach us democracy. You have taught us it is painful. Teach us what it means to exercise your vote. Teach us what it means to be human and fight and make up. Teach us that it won't always be war. I came in January of 2022. Is this what I came to? Did you bring me out of one dictatorship to put me in another dictatorship? Take me back home. Take me back home if this is what Penn Germany is. But I thank you because you sat together. I celebrate you because even when you don't agree, you sat together. Make this sitting matter. Moderators, let this pen in Gotha matter. We don't have to fight. You don't have guns. But this was as bad as the guns in my country. Stop the war. <laughs> it is not necessary. We are writers. I heard someone say, we are writers. We don't use painful words. I am a writer who has annoyed a dictator and gone to power. Our words can tear down, but our words can build. May the building begin. May the restoration of Penn German, Penn Zentrum Deutschland, that rescued me out of a dictatorship, may the rebuilding begin. The conflict has happened. We are tired of your conflict. And I'm saying this because I have no vote. I won't vote for Dennis. I won't vote for Joachim. I won't vote for you, Ralph. But I know what expedience means. Expedience and being on time to rescue Kakwenza, to rescue Danson when Ralph received a 7,000 US dollar invoice for teeth of a writer who was hit by a machete and his teeth got out. Ralph said to me, Penn Germany does not have money. And I say to him, look at all these other people. And in one night, Ralph, in one night, you collected that money. Not from Penn Germany, from all the others. Dennis, when we needed to get Kakwenza out, my brother Kakwenza came with blood on his back because the government beat him up. So maybe you did not listen to your committee. 
but you rescued my brother out of Uganda when no one else could do it. And so I'm not here to plead for Dennis. If he's a chauvinist, perhaps the management should not be chauvinists as well and just chase him out without having this conflict resolution. Manage your conflict. I want to thank you very much. I'm just here to say that toxicity is too much. Please stop it. We are adults. Let us be adults.